Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's morning English. This is Tiffany. Hello, everybody. This is Summer. 欢迎大家收听今天的早安英文 I think learning how to schedule a doctor's appointment in English could be very useful. Yeah, say if they are traveling abroad or just get sick overseas on vacation or anything like that. 对，那今天呢，我们就一起来看看在英语中如何来预约看医生的时间。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢，是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语，听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。那既然是预约，首先我们要知道预约这个单词可以怎么说 ？Appointment。注意啊，不是 appointment， 中间这个 t 可以不读，所以就是 appointment。那预约看医生呢，通常是打电话，对吧？ We usually make an appointment by phone call. Yeah, first they are going to answer and say, "How can we help you?" So what to say after that is simple, and there are many different ways you can say it. So you mean the receptionist will answer, right? Yes. You can start by saying "I need an appointment" or "I'd like to schedule an appointment." 这里可以注意和 appointment 搭配的一些动词，可以简单的说，我需要一个预约 ，need an appointment。也可以用 schedule 安排这个单词 ，schedule an appointment。If we are busy, we may need a certain time to go. There are also some sentences we can use. You mean to arrange the time? Yeah, we can say, "Is there anything available on Wednesday afternoon?" or "Is there anything available?" Then you just say the time that you were looking for. Available. 这个单词在预约时间的时候呢，出现频率特别高，意思是有空的。你现在有空吗？就是 Are you available now? Yeah. Sometimes I just say. Would Wednesday at 3 p.m. work? This is pretty casual but useful. Sometimes we are busy. That's true. 更口语化的表达可以用到 work 这个单词，比如说明天早上十点行不行？就是 Would tomorrow at 10 a.m. work? Yeah. Another thing is, I need something this week of the 23rd. Is there anything available at that time? This would be a little bit more specific, but giving more of an open availability. Oh, so is it like rude to say I need blah blah blah? Hmm, no, but it just depends on your tone. Hmm, so 不管用什么表达，都注意呢，要用比较礼貌的语气。So what are some different ways to say if a person suggests a time and you're okay with that? You could say. Yes, that's perfect, or that should work. 如果要确定时间呢，还是比较简单了，就可以直接说 that's perfect， 或者说 that should work. Then what if the time doesn't work? I would probably say no, that won't work. Something that you could say that would be more polite is, unfortunately, I'm not available. Then is there any other opening near then? 对，这个呢就更正式，而且呢很有礼貌。先解释一下，不好意思啊，那个时间呢我刚好没空。然后呢用到我们刚刚讲的 available。Unfortunately, I'm not available then. 然后再去问还有没有其他有空的时间呢 ？Is there another opening anything near them? Sometimes it's hard to find the perfect time for the doctors. I know, doctors are swamped with work. True. Then there's a phrase or two you can use if you don't know if a certain time will work, which would be, "Oh, that may work. Let me check my schedule and call you back." 对，先查看一下自己日程表上有空的时间，再来做决定。Check the schedule. 意思就是查看一下日程表。Or even, that's a possibility. Can we book it for now, and then I'll call to change it if I need to? That's a possibility. 意思就是那个应该可以
，然后先预定一个时间，告诉对方呢，如果有变化，我再打电话来改时间。This lets you lock in the appointment, but if you need to change it, you know you could just call them and tell them. Yeah, because sometimes a doctor can't see you for months, so it's better to just lock in an appointment. True. 这里的 lock in an appointment 指的就是先预约，锁定好一个时间。That's true. Okay. How about now we do a little role play to put some of these phrases in action? 好，接下来我们来一个角色扮演，打电话来预约一次医生。注意对话里用到今天讲到的这些表达。那我来当打电话的人 ，Tiff 来当接电话的工作人员。Hello, how can I help you today? Yes, I was calling because I like to schedule an appointment. Would Monday at two p.m. work for you? Mm, no, that won't work. Does she have time this week of the thirteenth? Yes, we have the fourteenth at four fifteen p.m. That should work. If anything changes, I'll call to change it if I need to. Sounds good. Thank you for calling. That's the end. 这就是我们刚刚一个模拟预约的电话了。那大家在打电话之前呢，最好就是先确认一下自己有空的时间。Yeah, that would be best, honestly. Okay, now that we have given you a little guide to scheduling your own doctor's appointment in English, have no fear and good luck. 今天这些表达呀，其实不止可以用来预约医生、和朋友出去玩、和同事约会议时间，这些表达都可以用起来。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Thank you for listening to today's morning English. This is Tiffany. This is Summer. Bye. Bye.